we see a news reporter and a scientist, Marshall, at the beginning of the film. While interviewing Marshall, the reporter learns that there is only one option for the planet. That is time travel, and the reporter begins to giggle after hearing this. Because Marshall has spent $500 million from the government, Marshall hasn't gained anything after all of this. Marshall displays a book and declares. All of the research is included in the book, and Marshall was also promoting it. The reporter tells Marshall that many renowned scientists are making fun of him, Marshall leaves later. The news reporter was continuously bad-mouthing Marshall. Marshall after coming there again begins to attack the reporter. The reporter sprinkles spray on his mouth and this all was going live. Marshall has lost his job, and we see him again after three years. He comes up with an element for time travel, and the device's name is Tachyon. A tachymeter device could be made. He was giving a presentation to everyone about this item. We can observe that the audience is young children. He became a science teacher from the scientist after that incident. Meanwhile, we witness a young lady named Holly approaching Marshall. She identifies herself as an archaeologist student. After reading your book, I'm quite impressed. Only a scientist would do a study on the tachyon meter. Marshall tells her that the rest of the world is laughing at her while you admire her. Marshall was about to leave after that, but Holly intervened. She gives him a stone that she claims she found in the desert. This artifact was 30,000 years old and still had the mark of the lighter on it. She discovered a crystal in the area. That creates an outburst of pure energy. Marshall's lighter fixes on the stone after he has held it for a while. Later, Holly seems to meet Marshall for the second time. Marshall wants to develop a tachyon meter after listening to Holly once again. He has constructed a tachyon meter after waking up for the entire night. Is it effective? They return to the desert to learn more. The location where Holly had discovered the crystal. Both of them arrive at a location in the middle of the America and Mexico. There was nothing else but a shop, a man named Will was there. Marshall informs Will that there is a secret cave nearby and that we must proceed from there. Meanwhile, Will's friend arrives, and Will requests that he look after the shop. And I'll accompany this traveler to show him around the hidden cave. They enter a cave, and Holly has a tachyon energy meter. Marshall possesses a tachyon meter device. Because there is a lot of water in the cave, they must use the boat. Will tells them about the cave by exaggerating it while driving them. It's highly dangerous, and it's been said that there are lizard-like aliens here. When they enter the cave, they discover an alien. It appeared to be a lizard, but it was actually Will's trap. The tachyon meter on Marshall's wrist starts to bleed. He then rotates his meter, causing a tremendous earthquake hit there. Their boat sinks into a deep pit as a result of the earthquake. Marshall then opens his eyes and finds himself in the middle of a desert. When Holly unlocks the door, she sees a massive ship. There were three moons in the sky in the daytime in that location. They've arrived in a new world, where things start to tumble due to the tachyon meter's energy. Marshall's tachyon meter was proven to be operational there. Marshall grows happy as he watches all of this, and they notice, there are three monkey men there, who have the appearance of both a man and a monkey. Two monkey men were trying to assassinate their third monkey companion. Marshall, Holly, and Will started shouting as they watched this. The monkey men leave him, but they start approaching them. Will confidently attempt to frighten them by burning the lighter. Will's hand, on the other hand, burns. After stealing his lighter, both monkeys flee. After watching them, the third monkey goes into hiding. Three of them approach them, and Holly, with her hand on her chest, introduces herself as Holly. He, too, likes Holly and introduces himself as Chaka. Marshall sees injuries on his feet. When Marshall seeks to fix his injuries, he wipes his eyes after tossing sand in them. Three of them pursue them, but in the meantime, a massive trench has been dug in the desert. Three of them had fallen into a cave filled with skeletons. Marshall and will frighten Cha Ka, so he hides beside Holly. Holly informs him that he is our commander. He approaches Marshall after. During this time, the tree roots reach their feet and hang them in the air. They realize that by confining humans in this way, the trees are eating them. They start swinging by clutching each other's hands in order to stay alive. In the meantime, a massive dinosaur enters the cave. Instead of biting them, the dinosaur cuts the tree's roots. When the root breaks, all of the marshals fall to the ground and flee. Holly believes she will reveal everything after she returns to Earth. That's why she starts filming, but the dinosaur is chasing them down. From there, they begin to flee. After going there, Chaka set aside the other side of the bridge. 
Meanwhile, three of them yell and run across the bridge to get there. Dinosaurs couldn't cross the bridge to get to the other side. From there, the dinosaur surrenders. Meanwhile, Marshall claims that the brain of a dinosaur is similar to a wallet. Meanwhile, the dinosaur hears Marshall approaching and leaps to him. They are all terrified after seeing this and begin to leave. They cross a bridge to get to a cave. The dinosaur is unable to enter the cave and exits by glaring at Marshall. They believe that if they leave, the dinosaur will attack us and end us. Meanwhile, they hear the radio and notice something within. When Cha Ka turned on the radio, he discovered the skeletons of previous owners. Despite their fear, they decide to spend the night there. Marshall informs Cha Ka that he will sleep outside while the rest of us will sleep inside. Will grows fond of Cha Ka and declares that Cha Ka will sleep with us as well. Holly converses with Cha Ka in his native language. We learn that Cha Ka is the ruler of their kingdom here. That is why his two companions seek to assassinate him in order to take control of his kingdom. Will brings a large box to the cave's entrance in order to seal it. There's no need to be terrified of the dinosaur, according to Marshall. Because he has the brain of a walnut. A large noise emerges from there when Marshall talks about this. When they all look outdoors, they notice a large walnut. From afar, the dinosaur was watching them. Marshall starts recording the next day, and the camera's battery is about to run out. The meal was also over, and Marshall adds on his tape that if the meal is over, they'll eat Chaka. Everyone comes inside later, and Chaka brings them fruits to eat. Marshall is ashamed of his remark, so he starts eating a fruit. Meanwhile, the venomous ants that have emerged from the fruit have begun to bite him. During this time, they notice a peculiar light coming from within the jungle. Meanwhile, Marshall is under the impression that the alien is killing him. Marshall leaps to his feet and rushes to the alien's aid. Will admits to Holly that he's undoubtedly gone insane since arriving here. So I'll go fix his mind. Everyone was trying to stop him, however, he comes to a halt in the middle of the forest while walking. There was a bra mat shaped crystal there. Marshall and Will are going to get their hands on it. Meanwhile, Chaka mentions the frog-like statues in the area. Chaka tries to communicate with them in his own language. Meanwhile, aliens arrive and encircle them. The alien's eyes were frog-like, and their bodies were lizard-like. They were on their way to end them forever, but Holly spins her belt. Marshall's belt buckle rotates, as a result, allowing sunlight to shine on the statues. As a result, the crystal's entrance opens, allowing them to enter. Aliens were unable to travel there and have now reached another dimension. Marshall was approached by a lizard-like creature that requested his assistance. He has been kidnapped by the other aliens, and he has touched the crystal. Meanwhile, a hologram appears, and another alien appears. This alien informs them that this is the alien who wishes to take over the planet. He wants to be in charge of everything. I tried to stop him, but he kidnapped me. This alien's next target is your planet. Now you have the opportunity to save both me and the planet. Marshall assures him that he will be saved. Meanwhile, everything begins to shake when he touches the crystal. According to the alien, if these crystals are misplaced, several doorways will open here. As a result, a large number of aliens will enter. They'll need the tachyon meter to save the aliens. They've come out to get it. Marshall intends for us to first save ourselves from the dinosaur. Marshall displays a yellow liquid in a cane to them. He says that it is dinosaur urine and that if we sprinkle it or eat it, the dinosaur will not notice us. He splatters the liquid all over his body, and it should be in our bloodstream. While saying this, he drinks it. Marshall's eyes start to burn and his nose starts to block after 5 minutes. Meanwhile, he claims that this strategy likewise failed. Chaka screams and summons them, then takes them to a new location. Things have fallen from the sky there. There were tiny dinosaurs roaming around. Meanwhile, an ice cream car falls to the ground. Dinosaurs have sprung out of nowhere and have launched an attack on the ice cream truck. Ice cream is thrown in their faces by the ice cream vendor. In the meantime, the big dinosaur comes, and they separate his head. Who is chasing them, and there's also a female dragon. Both dinosaurs fight each other and in the midst of their battle, Marshall claims that they don't appear to be looking in any direction. When Marshall says this, the dinosaurs quickly pursue them. Marshall runs in a zigzag pattern to avoid being caught by dinosaurs. Meanwhile, the dinosaur grabs him and pushes him aside in a single attack. Marshall is also pursued by the female dragon. He hides in a car, and the dragon understands that he is hidden in a car. 
She climbs up there, but Marshall manages to flee. He notices a nitrogen cylinder nearby and grabs it. He instructs his companions to keep the antique stone throwing machine ready. This machine is well set, and Marshall keeps the cylinder in place. They barely throw the cylinder, and it lands in the dinosaur's mouth. After freezing, the female dragon falls there. Meanwhile, the dinosaur's bodies shatter apart in a split second. In the meantime, the tachyon meter starts to ring. They see that the device is positioned in the center of the dinosaur's body. A flying dinosaur appears and flies away with the equipment before they can do anything else. Marshall sits in a car, exhausted, and Holly tells him to find the tachyon meter. Marshall claims that because I've been defeated before, I won't be able to do it again. We should try. When the rest of the world was laughing at you, I had put my faith in your book. As a result, I've been kicked out of university. Now, I believe the world is correct in assuming you are a comedian rather than a scientist. They spend the night under a tree, and Cha Ka tells Will about his kingdom. Our kingdom's ladies, according to Cha Ka, have a pleasant personalities. They also met our necessities, while Cha Ka was stating this Marshall arrives while playing a musical instrument. Marshall arrives and tells Holly, you've opened my eyes. I'm no longer the elder Marshall, instead, I've evolved into a new Marshall. We'll go look for the tachyon meter tomorrow. After saying this, he sits down, and a mosquito stings his neck. He was singing, while the mosquito was sucking his blood left, but Marshall feels vulnerable and tired. He falls to the ground and ponders why he is feeling this way. He falls down while thinking, and we see a gigantic locust sitting on his back. And when he was sipping his blood, he collapsed. After coming under him, the locust dies. Everyone sleeps there afterward, and Marshall's back is pretty red when he sees it. He gives a motivational lecture to the entire audience. He says that we'll go to find the tachyon meter. Marshall then gives a motivational speech, despite the fact that he was the last person on the hill and the others were ahead of him. It was the mountain of the volcano when they climbed upside down. The dinosaur's nest, as well as the tachyon meter, were both presents. There were a lot of dinosaur eggs. If there is a slight noise, the dinosaur will emerge from its eggs. Marshall informs Will, but he pretends to be sleeping in the room. Marshall decides to go there alone later, and he removes his shirt. He ties a knot in his undershirt. He advances and wears the tachyon meter. Meanwhile, the tachyon meter's melody stops and the eggs begin to crack. It appears the tachyon meter music was their melody. They were asleep as a result of this. Later, the baby dinosaurs go back to sleep. They were all inebriated while they swam in the pool. Chaka was also seen singing songs in his own tongue. They have fun in the water while using the tachyon meter. They believe they will be able to return to their world, and Chaka rewards them with an unusual fruit. They consider the fruit's water to be coconut and eat it. According to Chaka, it is a hazardous fruit, not a common fruit. They were all inebriated while they swam in the pool. Holly activates the tachyon meter, which reads, there is tachyon energy in the area. Holly does not contact Marshall or Will, preferring to proceed on her own. When she moves, she notices a crystal door, which she enters to find a cave. On the other hand, they were having a good time they were feeling hungry. Meanwhile, they notice someone approaching from afar. It was actually a giant crab that was on its way to devour them. The soil suddenly cracks, and the crab crawls inside. The ground gave way to a hot water shower. After the crab has been cooked, they proceed to eat it. Marshall kisses Cha Ka and says, I've always thought you were wrong. Holly, on the other hand, has gone into a cave. She notices a lot of dinosaur eggs and decides to take one of them. Meanwhile, a hologram appeared, and it was the alien's hologram. If anyone is observing me, the alien says, pay close attention to what I'm saying. The alien is trapping me by accusing me of wrong. He is actually an alien, he wants to occupy the earth. Meanwhile, we see the other alien who was telling, the other alien ends him with a laser beam. His dead body was there, Holly Wen tried to exit the cave the lizard-like aliens captured him. Will and Marshall when restoring their senses they begin to find Holly. When they enter the cave they begin to find Holly. They see the lizard-like aliens who were busy with each other. After a while, they throw their skin away and both of them take an opportunity of this. They wear that skin, Holly on the other side was hanged on the lava. Alien invaders have encircled her on all sides. They claimed she attempted to assist the wicked alien. That is why she must assassinate her. When Will and Marshall learn of this, they peel off their skin. 
and declare that if assisting the alien was a crime, then we should be punished as well. The aliens inform them that an evil alien is attempting to take over the planet. He wants to be in charge of the humans. That's why we put him in prison, but you've aided him. As a result, you will be penalized. Now they both face the aliens and fling them one by one into the lava. Marshall leaps into Holly's cage to save her. However, as the cage was ready to collapse, they sprang to safety. The cage falls into the lava. We've aided the evil alien, Holly informs Marshall. Marshall made a blunder by sending Cha Ka to that evil alien. He's enlisted the aid of his men. The evil alien had arrived with his companions, holding the tachyon meter. In that hologram, he depicts Earth and says that my comrades are experts at making children. While sending my aliens to Earth, the evil alien claims, humans like you will be annihilated by me. Meanwhile, the dinosaur appears, and Marshall informs me that they're here to take me. He tells Holly and Will that they can take it from there. He tells Holly, I don't love you, and then throws a stone at her. Will also depart from there later. Will stood in front of the dinosaur with a wooden rod in his hand. Marshall leaps from the rod, unable to sit on the dinosaur. Instead, he enters through his mouth. Holly, who had been witnessing the whole thing, screams angrily. She starts throwing stones at him and declares, I've fallen in love with a human and you've eaten him. From there, the dinosaur departs, and Holly chooses to travel the world while collecting the tachyon meter. She'll inform everyone about Marshall's accomplishments. Holly starts ending aliens while spinning her belt. She ends a few aliens, but soon a swarm of them surrounds her. Will was assaulting aliens after holding Cha Ka. Meanwhile, Will is being held captive by the aliens. Meanwhile, we notice a huge dinosaur nearby, on which Marshall is riding. Dinosaur advances while ending all aliens. Marshall lowers himself from his tail. Marshall's comrades inquire as to how long you've been living since the dinosaur ate you. Marshall claims that the first step is to figure out how to use the tachyon meter. They enter the wicked alien's dimension while saying this. The earth portal has been opened by the wicked alien. A fight breaks out between Marshall and the alien. Will also wants to join Marshall while they're fighting. He pounces on them, but they both move to the side. He collides with the ground and, as a result of his vibrations, a crystal moves from its place. The Earth's gateway gradually opens. As the door closes, Marshall pulls Holly's locket from her pocket. The crystal won, using the broken crystal to repair it. The Earth's door was ready to close. They must depart from there prior to this. Will's feet are held by an evil alien. Wouldn't you take your friend, he says to Marshall. Will performs a U-turn and grabs the alien. He orders Marshall to leave because he is going to see this alien. He claims that I've decided to make this my home. Everything Cha Ka told me about his kingdom was positive. I don't want to sit on that idol shop again. Marshall and Holly leave that path and head straight for the cave. Will's friend inquires about him from where they've arrived. They inform him. They tell him he's moved on to a better place. Cha Ka and Will are on the other side. While passing through the desert, they arrive at the kingdom of Cha Ka. Everyone was delighted to see them, and a few young ladies approached them. Will considers these ladies to be quite attractive. Will becomes ecstatic. On the other hand, we have Marshall, who becomes well-known after discovering time travel. He reappears in the same TV interview in which he first appeared at the beginning of the film. He has documented all of his research in his book. He suggests that the reporter read this book. When he sees the title, he becomes enraged and attacks Marshall. The movie story ends here in a funny way. Please subscribe.